Have you heard about what happened to Albert Einstein's brain after he died? After Einstein's death in 1955, a pathologist named Dr. Thomas Stoltz Harvey performed an autopsy on Einstein's body. However, what makes the story intriguing is that Harvey decided to remove Einstein's brain for further study without the permission of Einstein's family. For more than 40 years, Harvey kept Einstein's brain preserved in jars. During this time, he conducted various studies and examinations, hoping to find unique anatomical features that might explain Einstein's extraordinary intellectual ability. The brain was sectioned into numerous pieces for distribution to researchers worldwide. In 1998, after decades of controversy and legal battles, Einstein's family was finally allowed the reunification of his brain with the rest of his remains, which were cremated and scattered at an undisclosed location. While the official account states that Einstein's brain was permanently disposed of, there are speculations about the possibility of a decoy, leaving room for rumors that the true Einstein brain might still be concealed and secured.